All right. Here are my thoughts on The Miz. Really, that's kind of my video title. Now you see, my last review of an episode of Raw, anything wrestling related, was the 1000th episode of Raw. And there, The Miz won the Intercontinental title from Christian, which I didn't substantiate that much. I don't even think I mentioned it in the video. Maybe in the description, though. Yeah, I did do it in the description, though. Now, here's the thing with The Miz. I hated The Miz's WWE title reign. And I think maybe that's probably because I was a bit of a face mark at the time. I wasn't very used to wrestling, so a lot of the uh, big guys in the past suck now. So I was cheering for them because they were faces at the time. The older guys, Mysterio, Edge, Cena, and that's about it. Or and I didn't know that much at the time because I didn't watch Monday Night Raw that much. So I was a bit face-centric. I was a dumb mark. At the time, I hated Miz's WWE title reign. Of course, later on, I grew an IQ and became a smart mark. And really, I'm just throwing the word mark around. So I'm not really mean. I'm not saying that I'm blindly and loudly cheering for something. I'm just saying that I had good opinions on certain guys. And bad opinions on others. However, looking back, I should be able to enjoy that title reign of The Miz for what it actually was. Instead of just saying, oh, he's heel, it sucks. But looking back, you know what? It still kind of sucked. And part of the reason was it wasn't believable. I didn't really believe The Miz is the kind of guy that could kick somebody's ass. Um, maybe it's because he acts and appeals to boys with ADHD. And he's basically a Delta male douchebag. It's trying to be an aloof alpha badass, but he feels because he's just copying a bunch of little cliches wearing a faux hawk leather jacket from time to time. Uh, Sue trying to appeal to Jericho and other shit. He really did seem Delta-ish. Like, he's trying too hard to be the badass. But he's still the pussy nigga in disguise. However, The Miz actually has the potential to entertain. When he appears on other shows like Conan O'Brien, he's actually pretty funny. Even, I think, Dancing with the Stars. So, maybe it's just that reality TV is his forte, but then again, I hate reality TV with passion, so it's got to be something else. And I honestly think that it's just that The Miz is a shitty gimmick. But I believe that The Miz will eventually have to change the gimmick. I mean, he lost to Full Hawk doing that movie, The Marine 3. As if they needed another marine, but maybe they know something I don't. That's probably the thing. However, he does seem kind of different. I don't know why, just his vibe has changed a little. Not just because the mustache and goatee, but because he's no longer acting like he... Is a prepubescent ass clown. He's acting more mature now. A mature asshole heel, but heel nonetheless. And honestly, I think that this intercontinental title 
could be a stepping stone for him to get a, the world title again and maybe be one of the bigger icons and turn the company to a heel-centric one, kind of like how it was in Raw back when Triple H was dominant from 2002 to 2005. This heel-centric company. Just for a few years. Because I really don't see Sheamus as a contender anymore. I mean, I don't care how they build Sheamus up. I don't care how many people cheer for him. Those people that cheer for him and stupid people just take longer to realize the truth. Stupid people aren't oblivious to the fucking truth. They'll stop giving a fuck and the crickets will come back. Sheamus, I don't like Sheamus, I've said it before, I think he just appeals to kids with Tourette's Syndrome. And because of that, I don't really like him. Not because I don't see anything wrong with Tourette's, but just, he's so damn annoying. Does he have to be annoying? I'm not sure, I don't see anything from Seamus other than annoying. However, The Miz, can he be anything other than annoying? Back in 2006, and ahead from then, I would have easily, along with everybody else, said, no, there's nothing The Miz can be other than annoying. However, The Miz probably has the potential to develop a more mature, fleshed out character that doesn't seem to have ADHD and just piss everybody off. I mean, he slowly transitioned to it. Slowly, but surely. You can't tell me that The Miz of 2011 was more annoying than The Miz of 2006 back in the Divas Talent Search. And if you do tell me that shit, then you're probably fucking lying. Honestly speaking. He has more potential than Seamus. Than Seamus. And who else can we put in the main event scene? We can put in Dolph Ziggler. And that's what they're probably going to do, considering that Ziggler has the Money in the Bank briefcase. He's already been a world champion before, even though it was a fluke victory. So he can have another title reign that's basically an awkward victory. And then he can be known as that kind of heel. Which he can pull off, because he's a great character. He's actually entertaining, he actually has mic skills. They just need to get Vicky Guerrero away from him. I mean, this is going to sound fucked up, but... It almost... Shit. Yeah, I'm... Anyway. Um... I almost don't feel bad anymore that her husband's dead. Now, of course, that's probably um, because I never met her, but just because she's so damn annoying, I just don't really have any sympathy for her. Put her in another role. You should have just kept her with Jack Swagger, since Swagger... I never really saw any need for him in the first place. He's basically appealing to people with strokes based on the way he speaks. He's bizarro, Kurt Angle. Um, he should have been released back in 2010. 
And I honestly think that he should go to a company that sucks like Ring of Honor. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Regardless, I just don't think that there's a future talent other than The Miz if he works on it. Or Dolph Ziggler if he loses Vicky Guerrero and maybe builds up more mic skills. Gets the main event experience to actually be taken seriously. But other than that, we're already fine, I think. We got Daniel Bryan, we got CM Punk. You can't assume that it's all Cena. You'd be lying to yourself if you said that. There is an importance on CM Punk now that there wasn't before, and this was including on CM Punk's many previous title reigns with the World Heavyweight Championship. Now there's a bigger emphasis on him. Especially now that he's turned heel again. And Daniel Bryan? Before it, Daniel Bryan was known for his shitty ass, boring mic skills, and nowadays he can actually pull off a catchphrase like yes and no without seeming annoying as all hell. Honestly, if they did something like that with Seamus, I'd try and kill him if I ever went live on stage. And I don't have any personal issues with the guy, so. In fact, if I met him, I'd probably like him. But I'd still try and do that if they gave him a catchphrase like that. Yeah, with Daniel Bryan, he can actually pull that shit off. And like I said before, I hate Ring of Honor. So to see Daniel Bryan's improvement stepping into the WWE, and he was great before, he was entertaining as hell before, but seeing him go on another level... And knowing that he'll go an even higher level in the future. And he's what? It's John Cena's age? He's John Cena's age. Yet. I'm still. Sure that when he hits his 40s. He'll still be entertaining as all hell. And probably be on his. Best years. If it ever goes to that point. He's pretty great now, you gotta admit. Hmm. What else? What else? If they bring Wade Barrett back, he might be a contender, but other than Wade Barrett being the caller of Kiel, badass who made the summer of 2010 interesting and Survivor Series 2011, for the little things, I don't really like Wade Barrett. He just seems like the mean potatoes, boring heel. I usually like my characters a bit assorted, not just a badass with a working class English accent. However, what I'm going to give him a chance, unlike Moose Production, who isn't going to admit anything good about him, at least they can make his my skills a little bit less mm. I mean the boring is a word unlike Miz and Seamus this guy's persona of boringness can't be ascribed to with a mental disorder he's basically just not a colorful or flamboyant enough character for me. And that's probably just me. I'm probably just used to, from wrestling propaganda, the idea that every character has to be fucking weird or badass is all hell. You can just have the simple working class, Birmingham accented, um, choleric heel, and it'd work. So that's my thoughts. Maybe we can give Miz a chance. Maybe. Better than Seamus. Anything's better than Seamus now.